Okay, I'm going up. I don't think they know. Just watching the front door. I'm in. I know what you guys are probably thinking. If you're a frequent Rust video viewer, it may seem to you that every other video has to do with revenge. But it does make sense. Rust is an extremely unique game. When you're killed, you can see the name of your assailant. And by using this, you can do some investigative work, looking around until you find where they live. With this information, you can do as you please. When knocked down, Rust players tend to plan a way to get payback, and that usually takes a pretty good amount of time. But not to Today, my group stumbled upon Sweet Revenge by chance, and everything you're about to see came from under three hours of footage. So, my name is Stevie, and I sincerely hope you enjoy the video. Now, if you've seen my videos in the past, you know that I would usually rewind the story from here, take you back to the beginning, and tell you this is where everyone in Rust begins, as a naked on the beach, and it's no different this time. This day started like most did in Rust, but I'm gonna skip the part where I farmed some resources and ran across the map to my target base location. It was where I normally like to build, by the water for components and by a harbor where I can easily recycle. Now, the server was full and the day was Sunday, which meant players already had guns. They'd been playing on the server for a few days already since it wiped that past Thursday. But that was perfect for my group. Me, Petrie, and Profile, it meant that with the right plays, we could take some pretty nice loot off of already established groups. And that's exactly what we wanted to do, but first we wanted to get a little more established than we already were. So we hit the road and then the water to hit the barrels so that we could get components and scrap. Now we finally get to an exciting part in our story. Uninterrupted while hitting components on the road and on the water, we were able to get enough scrap to make a level 3 workbench, necessary for crafting high tier guns and gear. Then shortly after, while Profile and I were next door to decayed base using their small oil refinery to smelt crude oil, Petrie asked for help. Hey, you guys should come to where I am, like ASAP Rocky right now. What is happening where you are right now? Where the I'm hell at F6, I just countered a raid. I don't think I can seal them. F6. F6. Oh, that's not that far. So, Profile and I took a boat, then ran the rest of the way over there to help Petrie out. Okay, you're gonna ladder up with your water pipe first, right? Okay. Oh, he's about to peek. He's about to peek. Go ahead. Dead. I see the other. That shot him. He's dead. Alright, so if we drop down to TC, we will die to a turret. Uh, yeah, just don't, don't. What I would do Marky. is get wood, get wood, and get a new TC just so you can, like, seal it up there. Yeah. I think I just heard. There's someone else here geared. Right. Sar dead. Got the Sar. Got his ammo and meds. Go get wood, alright? 
There's a guy here. I see. Okay. I'm hit. I'm dead. Nice. Cam coming on that. Okay. So. I'll take my turret off. Nice. Oh yeah, sure, you're gonna shoot it off. <laughs> Turns okay. off. Okay, off on it. Holy shit. Yeah! <laughs> Maybe place your shooting too. Yeah. I'm gonna put it right here. Alright, uh, got some nice starter loot here, boys. Well done, Petrie. I'm gonna run out with a pump after you. All right, I'm All just right, gonna run out, kill fast. one, and die. Y'all trade, yeah? Yeah. yeah. Go. Oh, he dead. Oh. He dead. Oh, there's more than one. All right, uh, fill up your inventory. So let's just take all this back to base. Not the most insane counter raid loot ever by any means, but we had just started 30 minutes prior, meaning this would be pretty helpful, so we decided to take it all back to our base. Let's go. Oh, shit. That is exactly that where we're can? going, kind of. We can go up in the trees to the left. Um... It's like four over there. Shit, and they're coming towards us, dude. This is really tough. Now, we were in a bit of a pickle. To get back to our boat that we took to get there, we would have to run this way, but the four-man group that was heavily geared was cutting that off, so we decided to run around to the left, so maybe we could make it without them knowing. Wait, where are we heading? Oh, <laughs> oh shit. Down to the left. We're going up the hill. I ran last. Ah, fuck. I'm down. Fuck. How much? How much? Profile? Yeah, leave him. Yeah, just go, go, go. I don't know how many load right now. It's not that far of a run. Make it. <sighs> we gotta hide somewhere, dude. Yeah, cause we can't. Just wait until it's nighttime. Now we have nowhere to run now. Like Petrie said, we really didn't have anywhere to go. They were pushing us up against the water, and if we ran left, we would be running in the opposite direction as our base. So we had to stop and fight them. You want to hold? You want to? You want to hold behind fight. this base? Yeah. Just stay behind it, okay? He's running around near left. He's going on top. I'm gonna shoot at him. I hit him three times, dude. I'm dead. So just like that, what was looking to be an insane start for us was now gone. All thanks to some pretty unlucky timing, us leaving the counter raid with all the loot right as a large group was up the road. But we didn't get off the server just yet. When I spawned back in our starter base, the sun was setting and I went out looking around our area to see what was going on. guys are right fucking there.
So this is what I got from my little information run. I first visited an unfinished base just up the road from ours located here. There was no one inside so I left, but soon after in the darkness of night I came back because there was a light on inside. Sure enough, when I got close I heard a bunch of footsteps coming from within the walls. Let's call the people in this base the UFB guys, the unfinished base guys because their base was yet to be finished, that's how I got in in the first place. And those non-stop gunshots you heard coming from the east, well they were coming from that tower which was surrounded by high external walls. We'll call the people in that base the roof campers for reasons that you'll soon see. Anyways, the two groups were fighting back and forth non-stop and to get to each other's area they first had to cross through a rock formation in between their bases bases right here. This terrain was perfect for somebody like myself with a double barrel shotgun to sit and wait for unsuspecting prey. Caleb sent me outside. Nice! Got custom. There's a body by the front door. We can snag that. You see it? Yeah, I see it. I see it. Someone else is going for it. I'm gonna kill him. Uh. That far guy's dead. This guy's gonna run for the body. He picked up a gun. He's headshot. He's he's now he's dead. There's a, there's a guy at the door. He's dead. I'm dead. Shoot. He went out, he's at the junkyard. I, ca I can't even peek him, I'm gonna get shot by the roof camper. He's getting l 9 Oh, he might be dead. Oh. Damn, dude, he wasn't. <laughs> I'm dead. Oh, they're he's all dead. dead. They're all dead. Look. Kill the guy behind you. Just stay moving, stay moving. Oh, I'm dead one. to someone else. Kill the other, kill the other. I'm gonna throw my shit down right here and go loot. Yeah, okay? you just gotta go for it. How'd you die? Yeah, I, I just died. For what? Uh, he, they both rushed me. One had a python and one... I only had slugs left, so I mean. <laughs> so now we had got a bunch of gear sets off the UFB guys, and the roof campers had been shooting at us the entire time, but we thought they would stay there. We didn't expect anyone to be coming from their base. What's your closest timer? About 100 seconds last time I checked. Oh! Are you dead? I'm alive? I'm dead now. Okay, but... okay. Oh, killed one. Oh, this other guy's so hurt. Full kill two, full metal. Profile, Ooh, you need profile. to- Profile, they're loaded. You gotta come right now. <laughs> profile, you have to spawn. Just an Coming. inventory of meds and guns, dude. Where are you? I'm coming to you. Killed one. They're coming at me. This 
I mean the box. Another. I'll grab it. Yep. I'm, I'm running. I'm, I'm running. I'm running. Forty seconds. This guy's looting a full metal set. I I can't leave. I can't leave. Like I want to, but I I, I know this guy's gonna be loaded too. Just go, just go. I'm leaving. I'm dead. God, that guy's dude. dead, that guy's dead, that guy's dead. I'm really weak. Dead. Petri, where Ten are you? Seconds. There's a kid looting, there's a kid looting. Okay. I'm dropping shit outside the base so I can go back, okay, Petri? Give me ammo, rifle ammo. It's on the ground. You gotta kill that guy looting. Headshot him, he's dead! Reloading. Roof camp. Get him once. Let's just go to base. I don't want to fight him on his roof. I'm not gonna shoot at him. Okay, I'm ready. Let me put some of this loot away. Okay, I'm gonna bag outside real quick. Now, along with our other gear, we also had a couple of full metal AK sets that we had snagged from the dudes running away from the roof camper base. But the UFB guys had gone on their roof in reaction to losing so much loot, which would make it hard for us to fight them. But they were the unfinished base guys. Although they had removed the ladders off the side of their base that I originally used to get up, they hadn't finished building their base. So we made more ladders and went back over. Petrie and I with cheap gear sets and profile who was acting as an overwatch for us went with a full metal AK set to see if we could get any more from them. All right, you ready? Yeah, you're... Yep. Let's go. I'm headshot. All right, I'm um, I'm going to go place ladders on the side. I see two in the front they're doorway. On? Are there any on the roof? No. Okay, I'm going up. I don't think they know. They're just watching the front door. I'm yeah. in. AK full dead. AK. Coming in. Ladder hatch is open. I'm dead. There's two, there's like three in the bottom. They're, they're coming. I I'm hear a lot of people anymore. beneath me. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not. His body's looted. The AK's still down beneath. There's bolting on the group. I, I can't go down. I need to med. They're coming up though. The, there's just still two of them at the front door. They're not doing I, anything. I, I tried to get into the shooting. <laughs> get my loot back! <laughs> this okay, guy's guy. pissed. Wait, wait, wait. I'm gonna kill one in a sec. There are so many. Shoot, shoot, shoot. Oh, oh rip, dude. They three came it. up. That's fine, that's fine. They're gonna open it again. Uh, no one at the front door anymore. You like prison? This guy said, do you like prison? What? Yeah. Hey, are you friendly? I got spaz. Coming. I'll go to the rest of the body. You get close, we'll drop you everything. Petri, drop me everything you're not using. You need shells for that? You need shells for that, spaz? I Yo, dude, I'm friendly! Dude, I'm ready? friendly! Watch front door, watch front door, I okay? I am. I have a heart, you jackass. Um. Hey, nice job taking care of the roof camper. Thank you. Nice uh, job taking camp. care of the roof camper. Thank oh, you. Oh, you already had instant in it. These guys are kind of funny, actually. I'm going down. I killed one. Other guy's burning. He's dead. Picking you up. Yeah, I just got so much shit. They opened their front door. Then leave. Then leave. We we should all leave. We have so I'm much leaving. from them right now. I just got an inventory gear. Like some kid. Let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's leave. Let's leave. Let's leave. Okay. Did you grab this fast? I got it. Yeah, I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Dude, I just got so much shit out the front door. Nice, nice, nice. <sighs> but... Leaving. Wait, these are the kids that killed us. The Johnny kid? When? They killed when us in that raid? When we were rain? moving our loot. Really? Yeah, these are, these are them. <laughs> Dude, that's awesome. That is awesome. <laughs> I got my bolty back. Nice, dude. I gotta make more boxes. Uh... 
We are like, we're like almost completely out of box room right now. <laughs> so let me tie everything together for you. At the beginning of the day, we countered a raid and when bringing all the loot back to our base, we were killed. The name of the player who killed Petrie? Johnny. And the name of one of the guys we killed on the roof? Johnny. Want more proof besides just word of mouth that they're the same people? Well, you may have noticed when you saw it, but at the time, I didn't. The name of the guy who killed me after the counter raid? I'm just gonna pronounce it Sun's Pain. The name of the Full Metal AK player I killed on the roof? Sun's Pain. So, the UFB guys were the same people who ended what would have been a crazy fast start after the counter raid at the beginning. All day long, without even knowing it, we had been getting revenge, taking gear set after gear set from them, filling our boxes with their loot. Now, after a short yet successful Sunday of rust, we were content, ready to log off. But after trying to run inside, after being on top of the ridge that was next to our base, just looking around, this all played out. There's a guy here. Where's here? Tommy. In our front door. Where is he? I'm gonna get behind the base. I'm gonna hide behind it. He might push. Yeah, I think he is. Yeah, they're, they're door camping. Pump. How close? Or spaz. Literally right. <laughs> it's Johnny, dude. <laughs> Here's Johnny. <laughs> Should I spawn? I'm spawning. All right. We gotta reconsider, cause if they raid the top. <laughs> One dead. Killed both. Nice. All three dead. Oh, listen, listen, Mr. Boys. Oh, they're all full dead. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we gotta do something. Like, we gotta kiss We, we gotta stay tears. outside of our base. We have to stay outside of our base. If we go in, then we'll just be getting camped. We gotta go in a room or, or farm on something. Yeah, we do, we do. <laughs> so I'm gonna explain exactly what we did next and why we did it. First, we went on the water to hit barrels so that we could get components. You're sure that guy was Johnny, the guy that killed us? Yeah, that, that's the guy who shot me with the AK over the rock. It was Johnny. Almost positive. Oh, there's a guy there. 240. Just go straight at him. Go straight at him. Oh. There's another one. Is there? Hazmat. Dead. Dead. Ooh. <laughs> <Trump>. <laughs> full, he's full of components oh, yeah. and scrap. He's just completely I'm full. Why was oh he my standing? god, no. What does he have? Same thing. <laughs> he has 200 scrap, just components, semi. <laughs> oh my god. Everything, everything and more. Thank you, Russ Gods. Everything and more. Dude. <laughs> We're just sitting here. <laughs> I can't even loot all this. Let's go recycle. Next, we took all the components we got to Oxum's gas station, where we recycled all of them, turning them into scrap. On top? Yep, full kit, full kit. Road time? Or road time. I'm gonna crouch. He's leaving, you see him? Left side, three, two, one. Hit twice. Headshot. Ooh, I was bad. We're going up top. Fuck, I had like top two point. stacks of pistol ammo. I'm going in. Get the stuff out of the front of that boat. Okay. 
Then we took a long run to Safety Outpost, where we traded all the scrap we had gotten from recycling into a bunch of metal frags. Finally, we returned to our base. We knew we were eventually going to get raided, but we wanted to log off. At the time of them door camping us, the top story of our base was just wood, so if they had the explosives to raid us, they probably would have done so already, but they hadn't. This meant that they were probably out farming sulfur at that time to do just that, but we weren't going to let them have their loot back that easily. We had traded scrap for over 20,000 metal fragments at Safety Outpost, and we put every last one into upgrading the base. After I finished the upgrades, we dusted off our hands and admired all the loot in our boxes. A successful day now done, we kissed goodbye to it all and logged off. But did we even get raided? Well, I logged on to the server a couple days later to find out. And sure enough, I had been killed in my sleep. This time, it didn't tell me who my assailant was, but I think we all know who did the deed. Now, does this mean because they got all their loot back in the end, they had won? Well, that's subject to your own opinion. The beauty of Rust is that there are no definite winners and losers. It's all about how you feel after a day of playing, and despite being raided, I felt pretty damn good. Yeah, the UFB guys had given us a hard time as we were trying to get started on the server, but we had reciprocated that treatment and more. The cherry on top, so to speak, was that in upgrading our base at the end, we made it near 16 rockets to get to our tool cupboard and a bunch more to get the rest of our loot. The raid wasn't cheap for them by any means. So that's the end of our story, a story of revenge. Oh, and I almost forgot to tell you guys, if any of you were wondering what the name I was playing under meant, the name I had been using since the start of that Sunday, it all works out so nicely, doesn't it?